This may or may not work for you, but I recently realized that I have all kinds of gardening ideas. I've got other Word documents or note documents, so you may see some of that stuff come up in here. But honestly, most of my little notes are kept with other ideas about planting and planting ideas, and I watch some videos about planting, and I just love this. I love this stuff. And I need a place to keep track of things. Just like a simple place where I can keep track of all this stuff because I have, I've got emails I've sent myself, I've got all kinds of stuff. So what I've decided is I'm going to set up my gardening stuff inside of a WordPress installation. And I thought I would record this because I spend all day in WordPress working on client work. Um, I thought, well, I'll just use WordPress to keep track of my gardening stuff. Um, I watched a video from a guy named Farming Scott, Gardening with Scott, something like that. Uh, he's in Colorado and I'm in Colorado. So I've used this WordPress theme. This is 2015 a WordPress theme. I post this at all. I can make it look way more pretty, but it may not need to. I'm just going to use it as a journal. So right now I've got categories, I've got pages, and I've got recent posts as my setup. What I'm going to do instead is switch it so that the pages come up first and then posts come up after that. So that's really easy to go into here in the widgets and drag my pages up. So I just went appearance widgets, drag my pages up. Then I want recent posts and then I might have categories. Here's how I'm going to organize mine. You can choose to organize yours how you want. In Gardner Scott's video, he said, hey, uh, putting plant info, important dates, you know, he gave us 15 things that you should put into your journal if you want. And he's got print journals. And uh, But I'm thinking, man, I'm going to be out on the hillside and, you know, it's really easy for me to pull out my phone and take a picture of something and write a quick note of it. And then I can just post it back to WordPress using a WordPress app on my phone. This may not be the best idea for everybody. This may not work for you. You might do better with pad and paper. For me, though, because I spend so much time in WordPress, this is going to be a good option. So what I've decided instead, I took from his ideas and built my own section here. And I'm going to have a section for planted. Then I'm going to have a section for planting, just planting notes, planting ideas. And I want to graft some trees. So I'm going to have grafting. I'm going to have seed planting. I'm going to have planting and propagation. So this is like cold frames or if I do pruning in the winter or pruning in the summer and I want to try and propagate from that. Uh, I'm, I've got cold frames I'm going to build out. But this is really just me starting with the planning phase. And normally I'm one to just dive in and not plan things out. Well, I've spent the last two years diving in and I'm really excited about what I'm going to be doing going forward. But I realize at this point that I need to keep track of what I'm doing. Otherwise, I may just totally lose track of it. So inside of here, uh, I'll put important dates, just things to keep track of, like uh, uh, I could set calendar reminders from there, all kinds of stuff, but basically just it, what day did we get our last freeze? What day did we get our first freeze? Um, that kind of thing I'll probably keep track of in there. I may change these as time goes on too, but this is how I'm initially going to set it up. So uh, soil, soil building, soil amendments, soil tests, soil ideas. I've really wanted to keep those because I know this is going to be like fertilizer, right? Or, or um, compost or mulch or whatever, right? Uh, soil building is, is things like that, but maybe that's more like hummus, uh, humus, hummus, <laughs> put your hummus in your soil, or like humus or something like that. Soil ideas uh, would be like, hey, here's something new somebody's trying, maybe I'll try that too. All right, so uh, this is how I'm going to set it up initially. Probably I won't use some of these things, but this is my anyway. Property sketch, I want to take a Google Maps photo of my property or Google Earth photo and then draw where I plant things on the property. We have five acres. It's mostly vertical up the side of a mountain and so it's going to be kind of easy to lose track of where I put things because it's not flat, not like I can look across it and see it and so it's very easy to lose track. Oh yeah, I put that crab apple over there and then discover it like eight years later when I suddenly see some crab apples in the distance. Probably not all that useful. So I'm going to put a property sketch in. Uh, then milestones are things like, hey, we got our first grapes. I pinched them off because I wanted it to grow better or whatever. Well, we got our first grapes this year. Um, we didn't actually eat them uh, because we had left the country before they had grown and uh, we spent some time in Europe. So, um, But then weather, insects, successes and failures, um, and then plant tags are going to be, you know, if I get a plant um, and I want to take a picture of the tag and just keep track. What, what did I buy? Oh, I bought this on this date. This is what the plant tag looked like. This is what I bought, where I bought it from. And then receipts and purchases kind of ties in with plant tags, but it'd be nice to just have a section for all of the plant tags that I have. And then receipts and purchases is like, where did I buy this? How much did I spend? Did it die? If it died, then I have an easy place to go and take that back. So here's how I'm going to set all of this up. I'm just going to show you in the process, but I want to start with that just notepad document, which I realize is boring, but thank you for hanging out through the video for me to see uh, what I'm doing here. So 
All right, so inside of here, what I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and create pages for all of those things, and then I can put posts in as well just to keep track of things on a day-to-day -day basis, and I may put those inside of categories as well. I may match this all up to categories. So for now, what I'm going to do is set up all of these top-level things as categories, and I will put either blog posts or pages inside of these categories so that I can just write a blog post and then put it under Property Sketch. Or if I want something to go on a more permanent page, these are going to be more permanent pages for things like ideas, places to keep track of things. But then I can just go back through and search. So I may end up building a page underneath Receipts and Purchases. Probably what I'll do is build a page for each one of these and then also put them in as blog post categories so that I can keep track of things there. So hang on with me here for a second. I realize this is probably like, what is he doing? Just hang in there. We'll get there. All right, so categories with posts. I want to just create post categories, and I'll just start with changing the uncategorized section here to planted. I'm going to pull this off the page so you don't have to keep watching me go back and forth between that. So WordPress by default has this uh, planted, or, sorry, has this uncategorized section. I'm just going to use it for planted instead. And that's going to go in posts, and then I'm going to go into pages, and I'm going to also edit the sample page to be for planted. So pages are where I'm going to keep track of stuff that's going to be a little bit more uh, permanent, uh, where posts are for things that are just like, hey, yeah, this is something I did today. All right, so planted. Update. You saw I hit quick edit instead of edit inside of that. That just lets me go in and quick edit this. All right. And then if I go and look at this website now, we can already start to see some of these changes in here. So now that I've added that to planted, I can go over here to my page. I'll just refresh this here. We'll see we've got a post showing up here, but we've also got pages, and I can add something to this page. It's just an example page right now, but I'll be able to go in and clean this all up. So recent posts, hello world. Well, we're going to go ahead and write a quick post. So I'm going to go into my posts and go here, and I'm going to edit this post. Inside of here, I'll just change the title. Man, I don't like this editor. So um, this is Gutenberg, which is a WordPress editor. Um, I, I don't really care for it. Um, so I'm going to go back over here and go get a different editor. Um, very simple. I'm going to go into plugins, installed plugins. Actually, I want to add a new plugin, add new. But I really much prefer the classic editor over the Gutenberg editor inside of WordPress. So I'm going to go ahead and get that installed, and that will let me edit pages. All right, so now I'm going to go back to... My, it'll let me edit posts actually and pages using the standard classic editor which I'm just used to because I've used WordPress for so long. So now we're back to our post. Hello world, quick edit. Uh, I don't want to quick edit, I actually want to edit this one. And instead of calling it hello world, let's call it um, first or brand new keeping track of the garden. All right, um, so this is just a single post that's going to show up. I need to edit my permalinks. Maybe I don't. I don't really care. Um, inside of this WordPress install, normally I would get rid of the dates out of here and remove the category. Um, and you would do that inside of settings. I'll just show that really quickly. Um, so inside of permalinks here, you can go in and change the link structure. So I'm going to just change it to be the post name. I don't really care about even having the category in there. Uh, but it is, yeah, so that's not the category. It's drive for impacts just my site, and then garden is where I'm keeping track of the garden stuff. So, and then we'll just have post name, and that's it. So, we'll see then when we go back to this post. I will refresh this, and you'll see this 2019 11 3 go away. So, I'll just refresh this here. Whoops, damn page. I'll go ahead and update this. And now you'll see it's just garden, garden tracking. This is welcome to WordPress. This is your first post. Edit or delete it, then start writing. Today, I am setting up my WordPress installation to keep track of what I've planted and am planting. I'm a dork, but also super excited. Okay. So now when I watch a cool YouTube video, I can embed it into my own journal, into my own notes. This is just for me to keep track of. I'm sharing it with you so that you can benefit from it while I'm doing it. But uh, I just think it's going to be a really cool way to keep track of what I'm planting in here. 
So, and, and for other people, a written journal is great. Um, what I'm going to actually add to this note here is I'll go find that video that I watched from Scott on YouTube because maybe I'll want to watch it again at some point uh, for keeping track of growing things in the garden, right? So um, you can see Geodesk Dome Building. This is all. All right, so I'm going to go to my subscriptions and I'm going to go find this video from Gardener Scott. Importance of keeping a garden journal. All right, so this is the post that I want. So I'm going to go back over here. I'm going to go to the share button. I could save it on YouTube, but really I want to keep track of everything I want in one place. So I've got this embed code. I will just copy the embed code. I'll go back over here to my post that I'm editing. And now I've got a million tabs open. <laughs> You'll notice when I work on this stuff, I work in a lot of tabs, but that's okay. So we'll go over here click in text and get rid of that. I don't care about that. That's there from the other editor. And we're going to go in here and I'm going to put the frame in there right now. If I go back to the visual, I can see, oh yeah, today I'm setting up my WordPress installation, keep track of what I planted and man planning. I'm a dork, but I'm super excited. What prompted this is that I watched a video below on keeping a garden journal and the importance of it, right? Whatever. Uh, this is really just notes for me, so you'll see I shorthand a lot of stuff in here as we're going through this, but uh, I think this is going to be great. Okay, and I'll just say here were his tips. All right. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and update this post. And I'm going to go back to my poster. I can just preview it here. Keeping track of the garden, right? This is where we weren't seeing this before. And I scroll down and I've got the video here that I watched today. And that's great. So now I've got a post in here keeping track of the garden. As I add more posts, this will scroll down. My pages will be here. Posts will be here. The whole thing's uh, mobile friendly as well, right? So if I go to look at this on my phone and I want to edit it and I want to read back through it, it's going to be really easy to see because I'm using a theme that's really mobile friendly. Uh, just by default, that's the WordPress 2015 uh, theme. So that's one way to go about it. I'm going to just go close out all of these tabs, right? You can see what this used to look like because I had it open still. So, but I'm going to close out of all of this stuff. So I can now work back and get on keep getting my things set up here. So I want to, uh, I've got pages and posts and I've got categories I'm going to set up for both pages and posts. So inside of posts, I'm going to set up categories. I've already got planted as a category inside of posts. And as we go on in these videos, you'll see how I use these going forward. You can probably just watch them in series or something, and then you'll see how this works. But uh, I'm going to add another post for planting. And the slug can just be planting. doesn't really matter because I'm not setting this up for SEO. I'm just setting this up for me. If I was setting it up for SEO, I could be doing something else with it here. But uh, just for planting, all right? So I'm going to go ahead and add a new category. We'll see that show up there. And then I'm going to add more categories. And I don't want to put these things into their own categories inside of... Well, currently I don't. I might... Well, I don't know. I'm just going to put them in here. If I don't end up using them, that's not a big deal. But what I want the parent category to be is planting, right, for this. So I'm going to size this down so you can actually see the whole page. And now I'm going to add another new category. So now I've got planting, and under that I've got grafting planting. And then I'll have planting seeds. Maybe I'll just call this seeds. And that'll go under the parent cant category of planting as well. So now you see I've got a parent category and subcategories. This is really just my way of keeping track of it. You know, you'll come up with your own way if you decide to use this method. But uh, I think it's really going to be helpful for me. So in a slug, you don't want to slash. Um, it will confuse the whole thing. So I'm just going to put in planting dash propagation, or I'll just put in propagation because that's really what it's about. And I've got it under the parenting category inside of here. With the pages, I'm actually going to keep those names on there, planting slash propagation. But um, 
this one's fine so but I want to go the other direction propagation slash planting add new category okay so those are my three underneath and that's a really long slug I'm gonna just edit this go propagation update category because it's living underneath planting anyway and I'm going to change this to grafting and update that okay these are my blog post categories by the way so now I'm gonna set up important dates and I'm just gonna call this dates and this does not go under planting I'm gonna set up soil and for this on the WordPress categories I'm just gonna have a uh, for posts I'm just gonna have it called soil I'm not gonna worry about separating it out into the various things because really this is just for daily notes on things so I'm not gonna separate all these out for posts then I'm gonna do property sketch mm, I don't think I'm gonna have that as a blog category because I'm probably not gonna write blog posts about a property sketch milestones I'll definitely have blog posts about milestones so I'm gonna put in that as a slug here and no parent category for that uh, insects I'll probably take some pictures of bees or like oh hey I just found a weird leaf bug so maybe I want to keep track of that as a post so keep track of that um, successes and failures certainly I'll walk around and go oh card that died well I want to keep track of that as a success or a failure I like to keep just everything consistent go with lowercase slugs it doesn't really matter inside of WordPress because it takes care of it for you but uh, I'm old school and have been doing this for a long time when we used to have to build these pages by hand so all right so here's plant tags and I may put these in as blog posts and then ultimately they may become a page where I just keep track of plant tags but for now I'll just put it in as a blog post category and we'll see how I end up using it and then receipts and purchases put this in here and definitely as I'm getting things as I'm purchasing things I'll just want to keep track of it inside of here all right so now I've got all of that into my categories right and these are top level categories so now if I go back to my page and visit the site I can see now uh, I don't have blog post categories because these are actually going to be categories for pages. I could put blog post categories over here as well, um, which I may do at some point. Um, but for now, these are page categories. Really, uh, I'm just going to go in now and add some pages where I can keep track of all this stuff at the top level too. So posts are really for like day-to-day -day stuff. Like this is just what I was doing today, checking things out, trying that out. Pages are like, here's what I learned and I really want to remember this forever. Um, so that's why I'm putting these things in both as pages and as posts is so that I can keep track of like the big things on the, um, on the pages. And so things will go in initially pretty much always as posts unless I'm like, oh man, this is a big deal. I will put that on there. Um, but anything or, or you know like hey this is an idea I learned that I want to remember uh, and I want it to be sort of top of mind all the time so anything related to grafting is gonna go on this page that I think ooh, I that's a really good tip I need to remember that um, so that's where this will go anything about planting seeds it's like oh I watched this video I want to remember that because nobody else has said that that's a really cool tip Right? or that's something I want to put in there um, next year that's what I will use these pages for and then I also will have a uh, just a general ideas category of like things I want to try um, planted planting important date soil and then I'll probably just put up a general page like things I want to try but that may also just go in as a blog post until I figure out if I actually want to do it and then maybe I'll make it a page again I'm gonna figure out how to use this as time goes on but I wanted to start the process and uh, record the process so that I have kind of a, a way to help other people too with this if you decide to use this method so
I'm going to put important dates in here. Go ahead and publish. I'm going to put soil in here. And for now, even though I'm going to have soil building, soil amendment, soil test, soil ideas, well, I think I will actually. So I'm going to put in sub pages of other pages, and I'll show you how I'm going to do that. So I'm going to have a general parent page called soil. And then I'm going to add another new page, and underneath there, I'm going to put soil building. Right, here's my soil parent page. Publish. Size this down just a little so you can see it. All right, so now I've got soil building and soil soil building lives under soil. I'm going to add another page. Soil amendments. This one's going to live under soil as well. Soil tests. This would be like if I send something off to a lab or if I uh, get a, a meter or something like that and I want to keep track of that, that, that will go in here. And then soil ideas is like, hey, somebody put this weird thing in their soil and suddenly their plants were like 20 feet tall. How do I do that? Or that'd be something cool to try. Um, then maybe that will go on that soil uh, ideas page. So I'm going to go ahead and add a new page. Now, as I did that, I think I didn't... Oh, I did put soil tests under soil. Cool. All right, hang in with me there. I realize it's probably getting boring. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and add another new page. Milestones. Weather. Add new. This is just for keeping track of weather events. If there's some kind of interesting weather event, Insects will be, you know, if I find something that's like, oh, I've never seen one of those here before, or, oh, yeah, it's that time of year with the grasshoppers. Well, that could go in as a blog post, but it could also say, oh, yeah, the grasshoppers come back this time of year. I need to really watch out for that. Um, and just as a reminder to myself, you know, it might be in under important dates and under insects. I don't know. Or I might put something specific about different kinds of grasshoppers under insects, and then I might link to it from important dates, uh, something like that. So... Go ahead and add new successes and failures. Go ahead and go in there and publish. And plant tags. I'm sure there's some tool online for keeping track of a garden journal, but I don't know if it's going to let me have this level of control over what I want to do with it. So I'm just going to build my own thing, which is kind of the story of my life. <laughs> but that's OK. Uh, kind of independent often. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and publish this, receipts and purchases. And now if I go to the page here and go ahead and hit refresh. So now I have pages, grafting, important dates, insects, milestones, plant tags, planted. So I can plant it, planting, planting seeds. <laughs> wow, that's a lot of stuff in there. Uh, I might move under planted. I, so yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Under planted, I'm going to put plant tags, planting, and planting seeds underneath planted. Um, because those are all planting ideas, actually. Plant tags. Well, plant tags definitely going to live underneath planted, right? Because the whole reason of having plant tags is to put it under things that have planted. So I'm going to go ahead and go into pages. And I want plant tags to live underneath planted. Update. Where I may not want planting seeds and planting uh, you know I could create a new parent page and call it planting ideas for example uh, but now let's go back here refresh All right so now I've got planted and plant tags live underneath there uh, receipts and purchases might go under planted actually that's probably a better place for that as well so we'll go back over here to pages receipts and purchases quick edit and I'm gonna move that underneath Planted. Update that. All right, so now I'm going to go back over here, refresh so you can see that. Now I've got planted, plant tags, receipts, and purchases. Cool. All right, so this is my start of my setup of keeping track of things. I've got one post here, uh, but then, you know, I've got, uh, for example, I just emailed myself a whole bunch of things about apples. 
right? So, and this is the Clear Creek, Colorado extension. Um, this is, I'm gonna buy a bunch of seedling trees this year, um, but I wanna go look for my apples post, right? Because I emailed myself a thing about apples. Right, here's one, you know, which apples should I get to grow at your thing? Um, or get to grow on my property. Tree questions. Grafted some apples to rootstock this winter. I maybe want a whole section about rootstock. Um, I can't even keep track of where I've got stuff. Here we go. Apples. I put it in notepad. <laughs> Here's another thing about soil. Right. So what I can do is just go copy this. And this way I will have a way to keep track of this stuff without feeling like, oh, I can't close out of anything. I've got to keep all this stuff open. Uh, so I'm going to go back in, dashboard, and inside of my dashboard now, create a post. I'll probably have a thousand posts called apples, right? Um, but helpful links. And then I can even tag this if I want to call the apples. And uh, then I've got a tag for just apples and I can look by tag in the future and find that. All right, the other nice thing about working inside of WordPress here, I'm going to go ahead and publish this and see what happens with these links. Uh, sometimes it will just auto format and put the links in there, but uh, sometimes it won't. So what I can do though is go in and link all this stuff. So it makes it really easy for me inside of the text version. I'm going to go like this. I'm going to link it and add link. Now it's built all that code out. So, but I can also go in here and see, okay, that starts with this. And in the future, I won't have to put it into Notepad. I'll just copy and paste it into here, and it'll be good. So I'm going to apply that. Go here. Hyperlink. Right. Again, I'm sure this is boring to watch because it's just my stuff. Uh, but you'll probably have your own things that you want to add in here. So hopefully what you're getting from this is an idea of how you can use this as a tool to build out your own thing. But literally, you've watched me from start to finish in 30 minutes, and I'm not really going that fast because I'm also talking about this as I'm doing it. But in 30 minutes, I have a whole place set up to keep track of all of this. And I think that... Uh, it, you know, it's just going to be a really great tool for keeping track of things that I'm researching, that I'm learning about, and be able to reference back to it. Where did I put that? Oh, no. I don't have to do that anymore. It's not on a notepad on my desk. It's not in a notepad file on my computer. It's not on some sticky note that I stuck somewhere. It's actually somewhere where I can use it. So hopefully that all makes sense, and so hopefully this video has been helpful for you in learning uh, a tool to keep track of things. And if it has, please feel free to post a comment. Really appreciate it. And uh, thanks for taking the time to watch. Okay, I'm back just to close this out. Um, so I've got the post that I was going through and adding all those links. I hit update over here. And now I've got all of these things linked out to as just a place to keep track of everything. If I want to, uh, because I find this to be hard to see inside of here, what I'll do is just go in here, highlight all this going to make this into a bulleted list. Well, that just puts a bullet at the front. Not all that helpful, so I'll just have to go through each one of these. And then what I'm going to do in my bulleted list here is just go in and add a space in between each one of these. So going back to the baseline, the baseline, 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 baseline the poster, but I'm not too worried about it really. Uh, today I'm just wanting to get this set up because I thought this is a great idea and wanted to uh, record the process of setting it up as well. And I don't need that to be bulleted, but I may want to make it bigger. You know, this is again for my own purposes, so I'm not too worried about all the formatting and all the things I would normally do for making the website be nice because it's really just for me. But uh, then if I go back into this post, hit refresh. All right, so that's it. And it didn't put the spacing in between like I wanted it, but I can still very easily see the difference here by adding these bullets. And then if I go back to the main page, I can just click here to go back to the main page. And now we'll see I've got this post, but I also have this post. And we created all of that just in this one little video snippet. Again, less than 30 minutes to set up the whole thing, and now I've got a really good place to keep track of everything. All right. Hope you're having a great